Welcome to the DAP4 training module for basic display operation from Data Air. In this session, you will learn how to navigate the screens, access the menus, change settings, view alarms and logging, and turn the unit on and off. When the DAP4 is first powered up, this screen will appear. Pressing the Escape key will bring you to the main status screen. This is the main status screen. Pressing the Menu key will bring you to the password screen. The password screen allows access to the menus. There are three menus that appear based on the password you enter, User, Service, or Factory. Entering no password by pressing the Enter key four times will cause the user menu to appear. There are many choices on the main menu. You select the main choice from the menu using the up or down key to move it to the center position, the one with a black background. After you select the menu you want, press the Enter key to open it. In this case, the Set Points menu is being selected. The first screen in the menu will then appear, and the cursor will be flashing in the upper left-hand corner. Pressing the Enter key will move the cursor to the nearest setting. Notice that the cursor is now next to the Set Point setting. Pressing the Up or Down key will change the value of the setting. If you hold the key, the value will automatically begin increasing or decreasing at a faster rate. All settings have a minimum and maximum adjustment range. Once the desired setting is shown, pressing the Enter key will store the new value and the cursor will move to the next setting. Pressing the Enter key will cause the cursor to move from one setting to the next until it is back to the upper top left corner of the display again. When the cursor is at the top left of the display, the up and down keys are used to move to the next screen within the menu. After the last screen in the menu is displayed, the first screen will reappear. The number of screens that appear within a menu is based on the features and optional equipment installed on your unit. While inside a menu, pressing the Escape key will return you to the main menu. Pressing the Menu key again will return you to the main status screen. Notice that the top left alarm key has turned red, indicating an alarm condition. Pressing the alarm key will silence the buzzer and display the alarm condition. In this example, for a dirty filter alarm, we see that this particular alarm condition requires corrective action in order for the alarm to reset. Please note that it is possible to have more than one active alarm at a time. Pressing the up or down key will display additional screens indicating what other alarm conditions there may be. After viewing the last alarm, or if there is only one, this screen will appear. Pressing the Enter key will take you to the Alarm Data Logger screen. The Data Logger allows you to see what alarms have occurred in the past. It records the time and date of when the alarm occurred as well as sensor readings at the time of the alarm. The latest alarm to occur is displayed first. Use the Enter key to move the cursor to the scroll up, down position. Use the down key to scroll through older alarms that were logged. Pressing the Escape key will return you to the main menu. The Escape key can also use, be used to turn the unit on and off. Pressing the Escape key and holding it for five seconds will turn the unit on. And finally, the unit will turn on after the start delay has elapsed. This concludes this session. Thank you very much.